Hello and welcome back to another Shadowlands Gold Farming video. Today we have another Transmog farm for you, and today we are looking at Hellfire Rampart, or basically all of the dungeons around the Hellfire Citadel. I'm only going to focus on Hellfire Rampart for the video itself, but I'm telling you right now, I'm able to do 10 lockouts in 28 minutes, so you will have half an hour left over. So if you want to just go and farm for something for half an hour, you can do only Hellfire Rampart. But you can also combine it with this one, the Shattered Halls, or also the Blood Furnace to get more kills for every reset. So you can do one run of Ramparts, one run of Shattered Halls, and one run of Blood Furnace, then reset if you want to. And if you have a speed set and you want to keep on farming without being locked out uh, before the one hour goes up, then you need to do at least two dungeons, maybe three as well. Because only doing Hellfire Ramparts takes me 28 minutes, even without the speed set. If you have a speed set, it will go way faster. Now before I show you the dungeon itself, I want to shout out students from Zero to Gold Cap Guide. This is a fantastic guide for gold making, you can check out the link down below to check the guide out. It covers transmog farming, old content farming, shadowlands farming, and basically a lot of different ways to farm gold and make gold in World of Warcraft. If you're interested in farming or making gold, and you want some help on the way, check out the link down below, and use my code to save 50%. Now let's just talk about the items you can expect to get from this dungeon right here. You can see on the loot appraiser I've made 103,000 gold in value from doing 10 runs which took me half an hour. And let's just go through some of the big boy items. You can see many of them have a 0.01 to 0.02 cell rate and 0.03 there as well. And for example this axe right here is going for 18.5 thousand on my server with 9.1 thousand region market value. You have several items in that range, so this one is going for 4.9k, so region market value. This one as well, the same item. This one going for 3.9k, this one for 5.1. So you can see that for once we actually have some weapons going for a decent amount, instead of all of the vanilla farms where most of your gold comes from the armor and the weapons aren't worth anything. So from Hellfire Ramparts you want to aim for those weapons. You also got different blue items, like this one that I got from one of the runs, going for 4.3k on my server and 2.6k region value. This one, 9.6k and 4.5k, 5.5k and the, the weapon again. You also have this one for 6.6k and basically there's tons of different items you're looking for. And I have covered several different farms so far, including mana tombs and some open world farms as well. But you want to do as many different farms as possible to get as many unique items as possible. And personally I've done mana tombs quite a bit. And I can say that Hellfire Ramparts drops totally different items than mana tombs. So you want to do quite a bit of Hellfire Ramparts as well to get different items than mana tombs. And you also want to do several other dungeons to get different types of transmog items to sell on the auction house. So let's just go through one quick run to show you what I'm doing. You can do many of them in one big pull, but some of them reset, like this guy is going to reset. And you cannot pull the entire dungeon in one pull, because some of them just reset. For example, this guy right here, all of these Ravagers or Raveners, they will reset if you pull them too far. But you can, for example, try to pull him now, pull him all the way over here. But you don't want to go too far with him, because he will eventually reset. I just kill them right here, go back and kill this one as well, and keep on looting. I, I prefer doing some big and some small pulls. You can just go and pull one pack like this uh, right there. AoE them all down super quick and just look for the loot, look for something worth something. This one being worth 12.2k on my realm and 4.5k region value. That's a really good item to get and the dungeon itself is super easy and goes super fast as well when you're doing it, so it's really easy. And if you're looking to farm transmog, I would suggest doing this one as one of your first dungeons. You probably want to start out with doing some vanilla dungeons as you will get more transmog and they will sell a bit faster. But once you move on over to TBC, I would recommend doing this one and mana tombs as well, as they both give a very decent amount of transmog items and they're all worth quite a bit as well. From 10 runs, I managed to get this many items, so yeah, there's tons of them dropping here. For the dungeon itself, all I'm doing is pulling the room towards the first boss right here and just kill these and then I skip the next bosses 
I pull the mobs around them, but I skip the next bosses. You can of course do them because it goes so fast anyway. But if you're if you're fast enough so you hit the resets, you will do this in like half an hour. I would just don't do those two bosses and go over to one of the other dungeons, maybe the Blood Furnace, or also go to Shattered Halls and do those, as you can get tons of mobs in those dungeons as well, and the entrances are super close. And the thing about Hellfire Ramparts is you don't even have to be a druid for the farm itself, because you, the entrance and the you can get out of the dungeon right here as I'll show you, so you don't have to dreamwalk to go out or anything, so the class you're playing doesn't even matter. Or the transmog farming, so if you're playing a death knight, warrior, priest, mage, whatever, it doesn't really matter at all. I do prefer being a druid for tra transmog farming for the movement speed, but if you have like a warrior with a speed setup, that will be equally as fast. Or you can just be any class really, it doesn't really matter. I managed to get a blue item there worth 7.8k, so you'd love to see that one. And personally, I'm also keeping the lock boxes, you don't have to do that, but I'm doing it. So to get out of the dungeon, I'm just pulling the mobs you saw me pull there. And after that, you jump down here, and you go out, and you reset, and that's the entire thing. The farm itself is super quick, super easy, and suitable for any class. You just go out like this, you reset the dungeon right here, you go back in, and you keep on farming. Well, that is it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like down below, leave a comment as well. And check out the playlist for my transmog farming if you are into transmog farming. I'm trying to cover as many different dungeons and open world farms as possible to help you guys get a decent stockpile of transmog items to farm. If you're into transmog farming, I have an entire playlist dedicated to transmog farming, so check that one out. Aside from that though, that's it for the video. Leave a like again, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the farm and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.